Hillary, thank you. Now we want to send things over to Scott Broom. And Scott, turns out there are some pretty intense politics in play and a lot of characters to keep track of who have competing interests. Very hot politics, in fact. What does what's going on here in Prince George's County school system have to do with both local politics and statewide races? Well, it turns out a lot. Prince George's County Executive Rashern Baker wants to be governor of Maryland. Nearly everyone running against him from the current governor, Larry Hogan, to Democratic rivals like Ben Jealous, know that the failures of... You're taking them out of context. Prince George's County School CEO, Dr. Kevin Maxwell, are the political gift that keeps on giving when it comes to tearing down Baker. That's because Maxwell was Baker's idea. And so was a takeover of the Board of Education by converting it from an elected body to a hybrid with a majority of appointed members led by Baker's former brother-in-law, Dr. Sagoon Eubanks. As a result, the county executive has been forced to stick with Maxwell and the board, despite a parade of crises from a child pornography scandal to the loss of Head Start funding over abuse claims to the grade inflation scandal and now evidence of unauthorized pay raises to top administrators. Then there's the race for Baker's successor to be the next county executive. At least two candidates, Angela Alsobrooks and C. Anthony Muse, have openly called for Maxwell's head despite his near million dollar contract. And all the candidates have vowed to roll back the county executive's takeover of the Board of Education. When it comes to Prince George's politics, it seems it's all about schools. So there are a lot of people to keep track of here and a lot of politics. And here are three more people you really need to know about. There are the three dissident members of the Board of Education. They're all young, 26 years old and younger. Ed Burroughs, David Murdy, and Rahila Ahmed. And uh, there are uh, on the minority of board members who are elected by voters. They're unafraid to talk about and expose scandalous problems. The board majority has tried to silence them with threats of legal action and censure. But so far it hasn't worked and they've kept talking. Reporting live at the Board of Education, Prince George's County, Scott Broom, WUSA 9. Thank you, Scott. And the Prince George's County Schools budget is the largest in the state at nearly $2 billion. School CEO Dr. Kevin Maxwell makes more than $300,000 a year, more than either the governor or the county executive. We have a lively discussion on these alleged secret raises on our WUSA 9 Facebook page. Log on, ask questions, and tell us what you think.